Well, I do apologise. Take two. Good evening, everybody. No matter where you are, you're all very welcome to the Mythical Ireland Library. I'm Anthony Murphy, and this is a short, well, we'll see. <laughs> I can't do short, apparently. This is a short live stream to announce, among other things, uh, some special guests on the forthcoming uh Live Irish Myths in Conversation series. A moment ago, we had a little bit of difficulty uh, with the live stream in that it was successfully streaming to YouTube, but not streaming to Facebook. I apologize for that. I had to st start uh, the stream again. So the YouTubers were getting all excited and getting comfortable as well, they were. Uh, and all of a sudden, they were deprived of their stream. So I had to start a separate one. I blame that on Melanap, which is the uh, website that I'm using for multi-streaming and uh, that's twice that's happened so i may have to consider alternatives if you happen to know any good ones let us know and we'll consider them i hope the youtubers are seeing this <laughs> i'm seeing facebook comments uh let me just check this now for a second i'm seeing facebook there you go it's okay i'm on youtube as well that's fine right now we can get down to business hope everybody's well it's blowing quite a gale here in ireland in the boyne valley uh, this afternoon uh, well it's night time now uh, it was about three degrees earlier on when i went out to put a drop of diesel in the car and there was an icy wind a few rattles of thunder in the north of the county in in and around dundalk and also over in the western part of meath earlier on in the afternoon some uh, big heavy dark clouds heavy showers downpours um so anyway i have a list of things to talk about um the the the, the biggest one of which is uh, a guest announcement for the conversation series uh, we'll get to that uh, brilliant uh, the uh, the youtubers are back in the house <laughs> and uh, julie uh, assures us uh, that they are seeing me. Well, I'm not sure that that's a good thing. Perhaps uh, if I was to... Uh... Um, Deborah says it took me a minute to find it. Good. Hello again and again, says Joan. Yeah, brilliant. Um, hope everybody is keeping well. Where to start? Right. Okay. First things first. Uh, just published. Uh, in the past hour on YouTube is a short film uh, that was, now it's quite short, it's four and a half minutes, uh, that was first published for uh, Mythical Ireland patrons last November, uh, but was premiered on YouTube uh, at 7 p.m., so just over an hour ago. Uh, going to find it so I can share the link with you. I apologize again for uh, share, copy, there we go. I will share that link with you, and I hope that, uh... sorry, pardon me for a moment. Um... Okay. okay, I'll have to share it the old fashioned way as a comment beneath the video which means I have to silence everything mute. I do apologize. You see, in the world of TV, um, you know, uh, TV presenters have a raft of technical people working in the background to do all this stuff. Uh, when you're on your own, it's a little bit more interesting, shall we say, uh, and it's easy to get distracted by it. Um, I'm just posting uh, the link to the new video. Don't watch it now. If you haven't watched it already, watch it when we're finished. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it is uh, it is called The Dog Does Mound, Restoring the Old Names of the Monuments. I believe you'll enjoy it. Mound, Restoring the Sorry, Old Sorry, I have to paste the comment in there. That's why I had to play that video. Anyway, uh, so that is uh, um, one announcement. Um, Always have to say thanks to the Mythical Ireland patrons who uh, whose support makes a lot of this stuff happen. Uh, thank you to each and every one of you. If you're interested in becoming a patron of Mythical Ireland, the uh, website is Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com. And if you just put in a little forward slash Mythical Ireland, you'll get to the Mythical Ireland Patreon page where you will find information about how to become a patron and most importantly, what rewards you get 
as a result of your patronage. By the way, I should start to do this. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And when you click the subscribe button, also click the bell icon that appears uh, so that you can decide when you get notified of uh, a new video or live stream on the channel. There you go. Um, in a, a further update to the return to Segish publication, uh, I think I said in the last live stream, in fact, I'm pretty sure I did that. Um, Irish technical thinker is um, quoting Gandalf. A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Uh, well, it's good to see you, late or not. Um, this will be on uh, replay afterwards if you want to catch the first few minutes. Um, I think I said the last time that Return to Segish had been printed and had gone to the bindery. And in the bindery, they're putting this. Oh, I should show you a sample. Definitely, you need to. You definitely need to see a sample. So this is what the cover, the, the hardback cover will look like. It's a navy blue wibbelin. Imprinted onto that will be uh, in gold foil, uh, the artwork that has been uh, designed for the book by uh, our good friend here on Mythical Ireland, uh, Sean Fitzgerald. So thank you, Sean, for your work. And today I sent, uh, because they were waiting, they're waiting for the book to come back from the bindery to print the dust jacket, which will wrap around the hardback cover. So the dust jacket is, I believe, gone to print. So all going well, I will have copies in my hands in the middle of next week. Uh, that being the case, if you want to get your hands on one, and hopefully, hopefully you all do, uh, you can pre-order signed copies through the website. And I will share that link now. That is mythicalireland.com. And if you just go into the shop uh, and gallery area, you'll see the books section. And just click in there and grab yourself a, a pre-ordered signed copy. And as soon as I get those... All of those who supported the GoFundMe campaign uh, who uh, donated a certain amount will get a free copy. And after that, the pre-orders will be the first priority. So get your order in now, as they say. Um, what else before we get to the big news? Oh, yes. Uh, I should mention that some of you have been watching. Uh, well, you watched the first in the series uh, last Sunday, a new TV series on RTE called Creedence. Uh, Atlas of Ireland, presented by well-known TV and radio personality John Creedon. Now, it so happens that yours truly is making an appearance on this TV programme, and uh, I will be on the third instalment, which is being broadcast on Sunday the 21st of March at 6.30pm Irish time. Uh, on RTE1 television. If you're not in front of a television, don't forget that you can also watch uh, RTE Live on the RTE Player. If you Google that, it's, uh, I think it's rte.ie forward slash player, something like that. Now, if you're not in Ireland, I know that certain parts of the world can watch RTE Live on the player and certain parts can't. So I can't promise that you'll be able to see it, uh, but I hope uh, that you enjoy it. Uh, John Creedon interviewed me last autumn uh, in relation to the discovery of Dronehenge and uh, the uh, several hundred other monuments that I found in drought imagery by scouring Google Earth and Apple Maps. Uh, and so I hope that you enjoy. He's on the trail of John O'Donovan, who in the 1830s walked around Ireland, uh, getting as much information about townland names uh, and old place names as possible. A very enjoyable TV programme. I hope you'll agree. I think it's an hour long. Uh, each episode is an hour long. Uh, I won't be talking for an hour. I do that on the Mythical Ireland channel here, and I know you get bored of it, so I wouldn't uh, dream uh, to detain uh, the erstwhile viewers of RTE television. Uh, I will share more information about that uh, closer to the date on the Facebook pages and on Twitter, etc. So just in case you're keeping an eye out for it, but no harm to put it into your calendar if it's the sort of thing you want to watch. The second episode is on this Sunday, uh, let me work that out, the 14th, yes, the 14th of March at 6.30pm, and I'll be on the third episode on the 21st. Tomorrow evening, I hope, uh, tomorrow evening is a very special celebration. Although it was a Thursday last year, Thursday the 12th of March uh, was the first episode of Live Irish Myths. And back then, of course, 
none of us had any idea uh, what we were facing into. None of us knew that, uh, you know, if in a year's time, we would still be dealing with the pandemic. None of us knew. I'm talking about Ireland here in particular, and there may be different situations pertaining to whatever country you're in as a viewer. But here in Ireland, our case numbers and our death numbers, unfortunately, have been our daily death and case numbers have been higher uh, in 2021 than they have been at any stage in 2020. However, uh, the good news is that vaccines are being rolled out, albeit a little bit slowly here, slower than we would want. Uh, we're hoping that perhaps this time next year we'll be saying, do you remember? Oh, God, you remember that year we had to spend indoors, you know, talking to each other across the, the medium of, uh, you know, Zoom and YouTube and Facebook. Um, but as I keep saying, we are blessed to have that technology. Um, we really are a generation ago. I think back to uh, even the 1980s when a lot of homes didn't even have a telephone long before the advent of uh, the Internet and home computers uh, and before uh, mobile or cell phones uh, came in, which was in the 90s. Um, there were a lot of houses that didn't even have a telephone. So you could imagine what it would be like in the middle of a pandemic uh, a generation ago. What would we do? We'd have to read books all day long. Mightn't be so bad if you had a library behind you. <laughs> but uh, it's been a great uh, year from my point of view. Um, it's been great to be able to share all this stuff and to provoke that lovely interest that has uh, sort of reflected back from uh, all across the world uh, through the medium, as I say, of internet live streams and broadcasts. Isn't it wonderful that we have the technology to basically do live broadcasts from our own house, something a generation ago that would have cost probably £10,000 or, or more and involved a huge crew of people. Now we can do simply with a click of a few buttons and a little bit of uh, technology, relatively inexpensive technology in many cases. Fabulous stuff. You can do it with your smartphone. And sure wasn't I doing loads of the live streams with the smartphone uh, for Facebook. Tomorrow, we're having a celebration at 6 p.m. Irish time. So that's a little bit earlier than we would normally do live streams. Uh, that's 1 p.m. Eastern, and that's, I think, 10, 10 a.m. Pacific time, if you want to join us for a celebration. I actually don't know what the agenda is at the moment. I haven't got a particular plan other than just to have a nice celebration and just to mark the occasion. It was Thursday the 12th last year when I did episode one. Little did I know then that I would do 102 uh, episode daily episodes eventually breaking to sort of weekly or twice weekly and uh, tomorrow's episode by the way is episode number 141 uh, so i hope you can join us that's uh, 6 p.m irish time tomorrow um i'll probably just do a spontaneous uh start to that uh, the scheduled uh, live streams through Mellon app aren't working for some reason, so I'll just do I'll just do a, a, an automatic start on that. Uh, if you have any ideas for what we should do, feel free to drop me an email at mythicalireland at gmail dot com, and uh, yeah, we'll see we'll see what comes comes up. I uh, think I can actually invite people on here by sharing a link with them. So. I don't know whether we could do that or not. We certainly might do a little bit of reading anyway, if there's any requests. Uh, and you're all made aware of the... Um, sorry, the uh, the new... The new uh, the new short film, The Dog Does Mound, on YouTube. Okay, so in relation to Live Irish Myths in Conversation, which is ostensibly what this live stream is about, I hope that at this stage you're all uh, very well aware of the fact that um, uh, next Monday's episode is episode number eight, Iver Ahocht, uh, and my guest for that will be Bob Quinn. Bob is best known uh, as a filmmaker and a writer, but probably best known for his 1980s series uh, broadcast 40 years ago, um, Atlantean, in which he uh, identified uh, stark similarities between uh, uh, traditions and, and aspects of culture, uh, particularly in the west of Ireland, uh, maritime culture, uh, and connections between that uh, and uh, similar cultures in North Africa, in the Mediterranean, and in the Near East. Uh, a fabulous uh, uh, thesis. Uh, he later published a book based on the series called The Atlantean Irish. 
Uh, I'm going to be chatting with Bob. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, uh, Bob is a very, very interesting man. He's a member of Ace Dona. He is uh, an, what you'd call an intellectual. He's also a philosopher. He's an opinionated man. I think we will have a fascinating discussion about his work on Atlantean and, of course, other themes. Now, I just wonder, can I share this? Mm-hmm. Give me one moment. So that's uh, that's Bob there. And that's next Monday, which is Monday, the 15th of March. That is at at 9 p.m. All the conversation series are generally at 9 p.m. That's that's on Zoom. If you want to join that, uh, you have to register. And the registration link uh, has been shared on the Facebook pages and on uh, uh, Instagram and on Twitter. And I would very gladly share it again, Um, just so that you know, uh, the reason that we ask people to register is simply uh, for security reasons, so that we don't get gate crashed or bombed, as the term- terminology might be. Now, just forgive me for a moment. Uh, the following week, I'm going to show you this. Following week, on Monday, the 22nd of March, my guest will be archaeologist Geraldine Stout. For those of you who don't know anything about Geraldine, uh, Geraldine has been working uh, mainly around the Boyne Valley area as an archaeologist for the past, oh, probably at least quarter of a century, uh, perhaps even more. Actually, it's 30 years uh, this year since she published her paper on the embanked enclosures of the Boyne Valley region. Uh, So Geraldine knows a lot about henges. She knows a lot about uh, the Neolithic, but she also knows a lot about the medieval period and has uh, more recently uh, been doing excavations on um, uh, medieval uh, uh, monastic settlements. Uh, that'll be a fascinating conversation. Geraldine was working on that. If you look at that picture there, that's a photo I took of Geraldine while she was doing a dig at Newgrange Farm in the summer of 2018. And in a field just across the way from that, uh, uh, when that dig was ongoing, uh, I discovered a uh, drone hench. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, between that and everything else, we'll have a fascinating discussion. Uh, Geraldine is uh, one of those guests that I actually do know and I've known her for a long time, and I I know for a fact that that will be uh, a fascinating conversation. So, um, yes, uh, 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 dear, is it Dirsha is asking uh, all the interviews on which take place on Zoom. Uh, apologies, all the interviews take place on Zoom to a live audience, but they're all recorded. And they're all uploaded to the YouTube channel afterwards. All the more reason to go to youtube.com forward slash mythical Ireland and make sure you click the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it so that you get notifications. So yes, is the answer. All of these interviews, unless somebody objects, of course, all of these interviews will be available afterwards. And on to the the big announcement. Uh, Well, I mean, I say it's the big one. It's not like these uh, previous announcements aren't, aren't, aren't important. Uh, these these are, are all, you know, uh, <clears throat> these are all fabulous people. Brilliant, right? But just I haven't announced this one so far. Anyway, I'm going to play a little bit of audio. And I want you to tell me if you recognize. I hope you can hear this properly, by the way. I'm playing it on my speakers. But uh, I, let me know if you recognize these two voices. Some of them are absolutely breathtaking, uh, including cups and bracelets and rings and a bunch of drug paraphernalia. Uh, we call it drugs. They probably called it a way of perfume, life. Eh? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, but, but the, the reason I put this in whimsy is just how hardcore were these people? Right. Uh, they found the proof of Herodotus's claims uh, <laughs> about their uh, <laughs> intoxicating vapours. Uh, that uh, analysis of uh, some of the vessels yes. showed that... Uh, some of you have guessed correctly already. Opium whilst um, simultaneously monday the 29th of march it is my outstandingly great privilege and delight and honor to say that i will be welcoming to the mythical ireland library for the conversation series the prehistory guys and in case you don't know them and if you don't know them you definitely have had your head buried in the sand 
if you're if you've any interest in archaeology or ancient history at all and you don't know who the prehistory guys are you should be ashamed of yourself <laughs> anyway they take the form of rupert soskin and michael bott they started out years ago um i think in 2007 you can see the cover of the book there accompanying the ser- the the uh it wasn't a TV program, it was a DVD. Um, they made a film called Standing With Stones. And until a couple of years ago, they they were known as Standing With Stones. But then they rebranded as the prehistory guys. Um, Standing With Stones, I found to be a fabulous film. Uh, really enjoyed it. Back then, found it uh, inspiring. Uh, reached out to them, did uh, some publicity for them. Well, I mean, I gladly sort of uh, did a review of it for the Mythical Ireland channel back at the time, long before I was doing live streams or anything like that. And um, so uh, in more recent times, um, uh, they have featured me on their show. Uh, They did a show about the uh, Neolithic uh, DNA that revealed uh, the uh, incest that was going on at Newgrange and interviewed me about the three myths pertaining to Newgrange that contained references to incest. And um, I just find, I don't know, I hope you guys, uh, I imagine that if you guys are um, fans of the prehistory guys, you will like them for all the reasons that I like them. They are down to earth. They are two gentlemen who are trying to popularize uh, um you know, uh, what can be dense and difficult subjects. They digest all of the books and papers about various sites and monuments and archaeological digs and facts and figures and carbon dating and DNA and all that and present it in a very easy to understand way. I also love the fact that they have so much fun. Uh, One of the things that I really love about the prehistory guys is the fact that for absolutely no reason at all, the two of them can break down chuckling and it's usually rupert soskin who starts just simultaneously bursts into a whole lot of chuckling you know burning cannabis as incense <laughs> <laughs> you know he's, he's laughing i don't care what you say those guys must have been off their faces <laughs> i'm not surprised they were shouting aloud so um i've had a chat with michael and rupert and they're looking forward to it and we just uh, were tying down dates and times. Uh, and uh, I'm delighted because their schedule is extremely busy, thanks mainly to the fabulous and well-deserved success of the prehistory guys. Um, they have 30,000 subscribers on YouTube, and they've only been doing YouTube for a few years. Um, and the fact that they are just all around really nice guys who are just, I suppose, like myself, just fascinated by the past um we're not it's not going to be necessarily a nitty-gritty conversation i said look these aren't interviews they're conversations Uh, we want to get to know you you know well we want to know more about you so we'll perhaps get a little bit about their background etc but don't forget as always if there are questions that you want to ask any of the guests in the next few episodes so bob quinn on monday geraldine stout on monday week and on monday fortnight which is the 29th the prehistory guys if you have questions for them please feel free to send them on by email and i'll do my best to get round to asking them um now i I don't want to get you excited but there are a couple of other very well-known people who i have approached with a view to uh being guests on live irish myths um what can i say except for in two cases i have had positive response There may be technical issues. Not everybody uses Zoom. Not everybody has good broadband at home. Um, But I will keep my lips sealed for the moment about uh, other guests. But I am constant. What I'm trying to do now is trying to build up a head of steam so that I have guests confirmed for the next few weeks so that I don't have to pressurize somebody at short notice. Uh, But I have compiled a list of people that I'd like to have a chat with, and some of you have suggested others. And the list is long enough for us to do a series uh, at the rate of one a week. I reckon there will probably be enough to do uh, to do a series for two years, to be honest, you know. And the other thing about the conversation series is that 
it tends it has tended to sort of um we haven't sort of constrained it in terms of time um so they've generally been around an hour and a half on average um i think um generally the shortest one was probably about an hour and 10 minutes and the longest one was probably about an hour and 45 but the average out at around an hour and a half it's 9 p.m uh, monday uh, irish time uh, that is now i just need you to be aware of something that is 4 p.m uh, in new york but on the 14th which is i think this weekend uh the clocks are going forward in the states is that right so um does that mean uh, maybe you can help me out on this that monday's episode uh, which is 9 p.m irish time will actually be at 5 p.m in new york i think there's a short time of the year where new york is only four hours behind dublin anyway uh, just be aware of that uh, just keep an eye on the time differences as i have to do when i'm announcing these things so that's it um uh, michael and rupert uh are coming on uh the conversation series on the 29th the only one that you can register for so far is bob quinn next monday uh what i generally do is i send out the registration link within a week of the live stream uh, yes spring forward one hour in the state says helen thanks for that yes spring forward and fall back which is how i always remember whether they go forward or back at this time of year um so um Yep. Bob, don't forget to register. Now, let me just quickly try to, first of all, I have to find it. I apologize for not having this stuff all lined up. I was taking copious notes here as to what I had to talk about and then forgot that, um, you know, I forgot. To, I didn't do a short link this time. Uh, most of the time I share what you'd call a bit.ly link, bit.ly. Uh, let me just find this here. Apologies for this. Bob Quinn uh registration um just give me one moment i do apologize here we go thanks to tracy o'connor as always for facilitating all the setup on uh zoom um and i have to say um i'd be kind of lost without that support um, because, you know, when you're having a conversation on Zoom, it's very hard to concentrate on who's coming in and out of the room and letting people in and keeping an eye on comments. Um, so it's good to have someone else uh, on hand uh, to do all that. So that's the link shared with you there. Um, if you don't see it, don't worry. I will be pasting it several times between now and Monday. But Bob is a thoroughly fascinating guy. Uh, we had a, a conversation on Zoom the other night, uh, and uh, I can tell you that... Uh, he he is a, a man of great intellect and a man with uh, lots of very interesting opinions uh, about Irish culture and about the past and indeed about the present. Uh, we'll try not to get political. Uh, so that's it for the moment. Uh, don't forget that the big one really, uh, apart from the conversation series, is tomorrow's celebration of one year of Live Irish Myths. What an honour and what a uh, singular pleasure it has been for me um, and... Uh, it has certainly helped me to uh, take my focus off uh, the negativity, the, well, I mean, the sad death toll. Let's not talk about how it's affecting us. If, if the only effect on us is that we have to stay indoors and talk to each other on the internet, let's not forget all of the lives that have been claimed by this uh, virus. Um, but uh, it has certainly helped me to uh, take my mind off it, assuage the um, anxiety uh, around it, and as I say, the negativity, the headlines, and everything else. And uh, we've uh, we've uh, sort of, I think, um, sort of formed what you might call a, a nice community, a tua, as as we keep saying, a, a family or a tribe uh, through this. Uh, uh, series of live streams lots of stuff has come out of it um not least the live stream itself and the fact that you know a lot of mythology some of it very well known and some of it much less well known uh, has been explored and all of the episodes every one of them is available to rewatch. they're all on the youtube channel again don't forget to subscribe uh, and most of them are on facebook as well but not all of them um, 
And so that's a lovely archive to have. And then springing from that, you know, I, I, I brought Morgan Daimler on, on two occasions as a guest. And at that stage, I realized that this would make a very good format for the future to have a guest on and to make it a conversation rather than a talking head uh, with me reading your comments. Now, I know that, um, you know, uh, the interaction is quite good on the live streams with the comments or typically it, it, it is. Uh, but there's nothing like uh, the the live streams where, you know, I'm chatting away to Eddie Lenehan or Moncon McGann or JP Mallory. And in the background, somebody's sipping a cup of tea or they're knitting or, or uh, uh, doing some crochet or they're having a fag or knocking back a glass of red wine, making me jealous or whatever. You know, some of you look like you've been sitting very comfortably in in uh, in recent uh, in, in recent episodes and i mean look it, it is my absolute pleasure and i realize too that i'm very privileged i realize that above and beyond anything else i'm very privileged to be able to do this for years and years my dream was to to do this as my full-time uh vocation uh, to to make mythical ireland my my life and uh, I'm not there yet, but I'm certainly heading in the right direction. That has only been made possible by the wonderful people who share the time, who share the li live streams, the sad stories and the happy ones, uh, who buy the books, who read the blog posts, who enjoy the videos, who listen to the podcasts, who suggest things for me to write about and things for me to photograph. I'm grateful to every one of you for your support. Anyway, we'll do more of that tomorrow because that's what tomorrow's night about. Tomorrow night's about Mary McGee is um Oh, that's uh I will share that comment if you don't mind, Mary. Mary is new to this. Watched Patrick McCafferty last week. My first experience of Mythical Ireland. Absolutely wonderful. Can't say how much I enjoyed it. Looking forward to much more. Thanks. Well, I think it was Janet Moran uh, who who joined uh, after episode 84 of Live Irish Myths and uh, then had to go and watch uh, the, uh, the previous 84 episodes on YouTube. And she was doing it day after day. And I knew this because she was commenting on them uh, every day. And it was lovely to see it, ca her catching up on the ones that she had missed. Mary, you just have 140 episodes of Live Irish Myths, uh, eight episodes of Li uh, Live Irish Myths in Conversation, and 10 episodes of Book Talk to catch up on. So there's no pressure at all. Listen, you're very welcome. I hope that you enjoy your interactions here on Mythical Ireland. We're on, uh, most of the live streams are s simultaneous on YouTube and Facebook. The Facebook page the main page is facebook.com forward slash mythical ireland but there's also the mythical ireland community and that's where you get to interact more and you can make your own posts in there as well just in case you missed it it's on there uh not forget erica rivertree it is always a great pleasure to see you in the library uh i've missed you on and off uh i i haven't seen you so much of late and perhaps just just because i'm not paying attention nothing to do with you always a pleasure to have you uh erica and uh, uh thank you for the lovely comment um <laughs> yes uh, uh, desiree uh, whose name is really desiree but I, i've been pronouncing it butchering the pronunciation all along uh i i know all about it this is the reason the dogs well saskia is okay but coda this is the reason coda doesn't get into the library when the live streams are on because he would just be knocking things all over the place. He's a he's a nice lunatic. Oh yes, the quiz, Joan. I'll be honest with you. Um, it's not that I haven't thought any more about it. I haven't done any work to get it happening. Uh, that's my uh, bad, as it were. I, I still want to do it. Um, I'm finding that the conversation episodes, um, they. Uh, they're taking a lot of my time because I have to read material to frame questions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm not making excuses. Well, I am making excuses, but we're going to do the quiz. Uh, I just have to set questions for it. Once we do that, it'll be grand, you know. Anyway, yes, Paul is reminding me that we shouldn't really be sort of spoiling tomorrow's fun by having fun tonight. This isn't about having fun. Uh, this is a, this was about making announcements. The primary announcement tonight was that 
uh, uh, the prehistory guys are going to be my guest on Live Irish Myths and Conversation on Monday, the 29th of March. So that's the month of March sorted in terms of the conversation episodes. In the meantime, uh, join us tomorrow evening for the 141st episode of the regular Live Irish Myths series. And some of you would say there's nothing regular about it. It, it, is, it has been at turns funny, hilarious, sad, of course. Uh, don't forget that we lost uh, one of our... Uh, long time uh, followers and viewers uh, last month or, or was it the month before I mean time is flying so much uh, the late Kelly Edmiston who we remember dearly um, and of course uh, those funny times when anything happened do you remember I think it was episode 3 a load of plates fell out of a press in the kitchen and smashed on the floor <laughs> and we've had all sorts of technical problems and uh, yeah uh, I, I I tell you, there's a good, no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't invite it. Uh, there's a good project for someone. Uh, there's a good, I, there's a good outtakes video to be made of all the funny things and stupid things that happened uh, during the past year. Anyway, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Uh, so uh, we will, we will, we will, we will, we'll pick it up then. Now, come here. I want you to, I want to let you know. I will be having a glass of wine during tomorrow's live stream. So if it's the thing that you felt that you wanted to have, whatever it is, a glass of Guinness or a, a dram of whiskey, Tullamore Jew is the one I recommend, but a Bushmills I'm, or Jemson would be fine. Um, or a glass of wine or a cup of tea or some of, some of you make juices, your own juices, which is fabulous. Whatever you're having, join us. We'll have a wee glass, we'll have a wee drink, and we'll have a wee bit, bit of crack. And there may even be a bit of re raw, August rule you, boo you. There you go. And not promising that, by the way. I, I have no agenda for tomorrow night. It's just going to be just a celebration. I'll try and think of something. Somebody wants uh, the not chosen is talking about singing. Well, I'll tell you if, if uh, one of you volunteers to come on and sing, then I might do likewise. But I'm not singing first, definitely not. Uh, 6 p.m. tomorrow, Irish time. That is 1 p.m. New York. Am I right? Just get this right, Anthony. 6 p.m. Irish time, minus 5 is 1 p.m. New York, minus 8. <laughs> Can't do my maths. It's 10 a.m., isn't it? 10 a.m. Pacific tomorrow. Okay. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow evening. Hopefully, we'll have a good bit of fun uh, at that stage. And. Uh, uh, in the meantime, all that's left for me to say is Kolosov Ihawa. That's for when you're going to bed. Sound sleep. Uh, Slongafold. Bye for now. And the most important one, Tog Gubbogay. <laughs>